turn off my mic. Alright, there we go. Hmm. Get another inspiration. Six smokers to draw fully. <clears throat> oh god. Ugh. Are you starting, Gavin? Oh yeah, I did. Yeah, don't mind the uh don't mind the bad frame right over here. <laughs> yeah, that's my room. I made this all myself. It is, uh... Uh... Spent a few hours on it. Oh, God, the frame rate. Yeah. Frame rate's pretty bad here, I apologize. But, uh, yeah, as you can see, there's a lot of detail here. Laura made this all herself. Yes. I like to build. <laughs> as do I. Alright. Let's see. Wait. Isn't there... Oh, yeah, you got rid of the... Yeah. She made her room, uh, she extended her room a little bit, so, uh... There used to be a ladder here, but it's it's been a uh, 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 covered up since yeah extensions. Hello. Oh, hello. Hello. Welcome to my room. I'm still working on it because it used to be a lot shorter. The the ceiling used to only be like hmm. one higher than me. So, I'm surely extending it, but this is my kitchen and dining, like, uh, living room and dining area. Yeah. And, it's very uh, purple, I like it. Yes. I like purple, teal, and pink, if you can't tell. Yeah. This is my actual bedroom, like, the actual where the bed is. I think this floor is really, is really cool. Oh, the rainbow floor? Yes. Yeah, this is shimmering log, it's really cool. This isn't done yet, but this is gonna be, like, my office slash, like, enchanting, uh... Like library. I mean, we we have an enchanting room, so this is more for. It'll be more uh, like for looks than it will be for anything else. And yeah, this this ladder leads up to the uh, the big uh, willow tree that is growing into the castle. <laughs> so. And again, I apologize for the bad frame rate. Once uh, once we leave and uh, uh, start our adventure, it, it will get much better. I can guarantee that. <laughs> Yeah, it's a uh, it's a little laggy here because I've built a lot and there's a lot of moving people because we have a whole village full of people that <laughs> make the game lag really bad. Yeah. So I'm sorry. Ooh, low frame rate. Yes. Okay. <laughs> uh, so we'll admit that. Most of the, the build has been done in creative mode just because we're trying to spend most of this uh, playthrough that you guys are going to be watching to try and explore and not so much on the building. Um, so yes. <laughs> I, go, I, I built a lot of it. Some of it I actually did build in, build in survival, but most of it is built in a creative mode. But we tried to make it to where we had to actually get the blocks. In order to, to use them. So. Usually my render distance is at four chunks, but for the sake of this series, I have it at eight. So you so you can see everything better. I have to fix the, the pen outside. We recently got a new addition to our uh, our animals, and uh, he's he's quite something. And so I have had to move him to a a new home for this series because he. He likes to hurt the other people. <laughs> he likes me, but he doesn't like anyone else. <laughs> His name is Dirk. His name is Dirk. <laughs> is Dirk very, the jerk. Dirk is very yep. he, uh, he is very special. Um <laughs> We will we'll we'll introduce you to Dirk uh before we go on our adventure so you can Here is all I hear all the jub jubs. Jawas. 
Yeah, fuck it, they're jub jubs. Oh, Didi. Yes. <laughs> and then there's some uh, ebony ma guy making jaw one noises. <sighs> nice. Uh. What so exactly yeah, do they have for trade? So yeah, we've got a hmm. a village. I oh, am. Oh, there's a hummingbird trying to come in my room. You can real, come in. I am really impressed with the looks of here, cause man, there's a lot to this village here. So I'm finally going to go back in survival mode. I was in creative because I was trying to uh, build my floor without falling and make it look good. Horse pen. Yeah, that uh, the unicorn and the horse pen is something that um, we spawned on our own. Um, we have a dream world mod enacted that you can go to like a dream world or a nightmare world. And you can yeah. find unicorns in the dream world, but you can't bring them back with you. <laughs> so. Um, yeah. Where, Let me... where are you at, then? Uh, I, uh, I'm outside the castle right now trying to get a, a backup perspective of it. There it is. That's what it looks like from, uh, from the outside. It's quite something. There's... There's a lot to be proud of here. <laughs> I'm gonna go into creatives for just, just for a, just for a sec to show like a top down. Yeah, that's a good idea. It actually is really cool looking at it from. It's up gonna be. Here. It's gonna look really. It's gonna be a lot of frame drop, but uh, just to get a top down perspective. There you go. Oh, chunks are still loading. <laughs> Ah, I see you're in my room, Kelly. <laughs> I wanted to be by the tree. <laughs> yeah, you can get to the tree via the other, uh, the storage uh, column mm, as well. If you want to go that way instead of through my room. It's up to you, though. We can, we can go through my room. I really don't care. <laughs> oh, yeah. Here's Dirk. Yeah. He, uh... He hurts. <laughs> Put it simply. I am. Uh, give it, they gave him the nickname Dirk the Jerk for a reason. Um, yeah. Hang on, let me let me show them me riding on Dirk. That way they can see that Dirk is friendly, but just to me. <laughs> yeah. Um. Hang on, let me let me meet you outside where Dirk is. Just a second. And I am so using. I will be using the uh, Sfax Pure BD Craft uh, texture pack for this, and. Uh, Oh yeah, and I have a, I have a music pack on right now as well. So okay, I'm gonna come. So yeah, so Dirk, Dirk is tameable, um, and you can ride on him, as you can see here. Um, but he, for whatever reason, even though the others have gotten like hearts out of him when feeding him, he, he eats rotten flesh, by the way. Um, but. It, for whatever reason, he still attacks everyone else. Uh, he bites and poisons them, but for whatever reason, Dirk... Dirk just does not do that to me. He's a very... Whoa, he's... Very bouncy. Around. Wow, what a, what are we doing here, Dirk? <laughs> You're bouncing with him. <laughs> uh, okay, now Dirk is stuck. Um, well, this is Dirk. <laughs> Nine FPS bouncing. Uh, there we go, okay. You get to see it in eight frames per second. Yep, <laughs> you're gonna see Dirk going. It's Dirk gone wild. That's what's happening here. Um, In uh, eight away, FPS. Right? So yeah, Dirk is a uh, Komodo dragon that we randomly found when we were exploring the Badlands. And I read in the we have Alex's mobs installed, and um, there is a book I'll show it to you here called the Animal Dictionary that. Uh, when you open it up, it'll tell you different things. And I looked up the Komodo dragon, and it said that he was uh, mountable. So I went on a quest of being poisoned a lot, but I finally managed to get him and ride him all the way back home, which he almost suffocated to death. But we got him here, and now he's beloved, but also hated because God he was a jack. <laughs> yeah, that's Dirk. He, um... 
I might die. But... Classic dirt. <laughs> if he doesn't like you, he will. Uh, he'll poison you. <laughs> uh... I did not prepare any health potions for myself. Uh, I have some food if you need it. Yeah. I can get rid of this. And also, as you can see, he likes eating his own babies. Oh yeah, I forgot to. Oh yeah, there's another thing I forgot to point out. Uh, yeah, uh, Ryan and Kelly are our friends. Ryan and Kelly are here too. Hello. Oh yeah, I should also show uh, show some of the some of the stuff that I have. Kind of just randomly uh, getting things taken care of in the city and introducing you to our home slash village that is laggy as heck sometimes. Like right now. Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> Ah, uh, Kelly is at the diner. I will. I shall sit. Hello. Oh yes. <laughs> you have an arrow in your head. Ah. <laughs> yeah. I have been impaled. <laughs> yeah. So this here is uh, Kelly's bakery. Laura made it. It's really nice. And who's this? Oh. Yeah, Lucy Bob. Yeah, all of our iron golems are named after Lucibob. the seven princes of uh, hell, but with the word hmm. Bob at the end. <laughs> yes. And then we also just have a random one named George. And it's kind of a long story, but... And we've got... Kelly and I had a, had a world where George was an iron golem that wouldn't protect us at all. All we wanted to do was protect the garden. Hmm. <laughs> if we have, uh... the carrots, he would attack. And otherwise, he wouldn't, he wouldn't do anything. <laughs> and we have dogs. Sasha. Sasha. We've got cats. And it's mittens right there. Prometheus, he's a, a huge ass dog that would yeah. terrify the fuck out of me if that was real. Yeah, uh, actually, the fun thing about Prometheus, fun thing about Prometheus is uh, I can actually ride on him. <laughs> oh yeah, he's that big. He's such oh, yeah. a big dog. Um, and I trained him so that I can actually ride and attack on him. So it's he's, got a, uh, he's got a hmm. saddle. <laughs> he's a he's a good boy. And then, uh, uh to the left of the bakery is my, uh, yeah, we got my house. House. Oh, oh, wait, yeah, my we, room. You gotta see, we, we, we need to see Ryan's room, like, right now, so. Kelly oh, yeah. is still, uh, working on her room. Uh, she hasn't had a Hello. Time so, me personally, I'm more so of, like, a combat kind of dude, more so than a, uh, a builder, so... I'll add more to this uh, this place eventually. Uh, mm -hmm. I went into creative a little bit to try and replicate uh, Link's Master Sword and the bigger on Sword from Ocarina of Time. Oh, yeah. And uh, in these chests, are, it's just like random crap. But on the top here is uh, stairway just to a heaven. pedestal. Yeah, stairway to heaven. And this is my uh, prized possession. my uh, The sword that I like to use for the left in combat. If oh. you want to, you can right click and you can take it off. I present to you Destination Fucked. <laughs> Which there deals it is. a lot of damage. Also there's that. It's a book. Uh, the, mm. book the, the, the book. The book. The book. A good book. The the book, yes. The good the good book. Yes. And then I also have this prized hammer. Uh, it does have a cobalt handle. I was thinking of making it a cobalt ma uh, mallet. Boom, boom, Or like bitch. a hammer head. But uh, right now we have more hammer than we do have cobalt, and it already does its job relatively well. So uh, for now, I'm going to keep it iron. I might change it back to cobalt, but uh, but yeah. So yeah, this is my, uh, my uh, own personal uh, area. There's not much here. I'll probably add more to it later. But, uh, but, yeah, I'll work on it in time. Yeah. The mods that I like a lot that we're playing with is uh, Tinker's Construct. I love Tinker's Construct to death. Yeah, so do I. And uh, also, uh, I'm starting to get a little bit more into that magic mod that uh, Laura has. But uh, I'm really interested into the dream and nightmare thing in the, uh, the, uh, the Twilight Forest whenever we eventually go, uh, get to it. Down so here. down here is uh, the portal to all the different realms. So we have the Nether, we have the Under Garden, the Abyss, the End, the Twilight Forest, 
And this is a dream and nightmare thing. And then down here is a uh, a mob grinder. Yeah, mob just so grinder. We can get XP. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, one of the uh, we'll put a lit. I'll give Gavin the list of the mods that I've installed. Uh, oh in yeah. The server here. Um, but one of the really cool mods that you can get is the magic mod that Ryan was talking about, Botania. Um, if you eat Gaia, which is like the boss of it, you can actually make this little thing on the wall here. Um, it is called a life aggregator. It actually allows you to pick up and move monster spawners, and it is it really, really fun. So that's how we were able to make our spawn. Uh, how did this get up here? Uh... I don't know. Oh, by the way, uh, we have uh, keep inventory on uh, on death. So eventually, when we go to like places that we haven't really have uh, been to before, like the abyss and stuff, where we're probably gonna die a lot, we just have that enabled just so that we won't uh, constantly lose our stuff because yeah. we haven't really, the four of us haven't really uh, dabbled into uh, modded Minecraft content before, so. More than likely, we'll be sure to die quite a bit, and to lose all of our progress and all of our stuff, and just to go back and uh, regain our supplies and stuff that we dropped on death will just be uh, overly tedious above anything else. Yeah. And we do have cheats, obviously, because of creative bone and stuff, but we are uh, we don't absolutely use it to completely cheat. It's more so like, again, to build stuff or. Like, it's if we have at least one, yeah, it's mainly for decorating. Like, as long as we have at least, like, one block of, like, something from the abyss, then we can build anything else out of it. We just have to legitimately attain the block or the item at least once. And, uh, once, like, legitimately before we can just constantly spawn in creative. Oh, uh, Unless Gavin. it's purely for cosmetic looks, like some of the weapons. Yeah. Uh, show them this. So, oh, where yeah. Oh, wait, hang on. On this is uh, the armor. This is my, here's my here's my here's my puppy right here. It's uh. Oh, there's Dexter. He's on the other side. Dexter. He's actually uh my dog in real life, but I recreated him in this game. Eventually, I gotta get my own dog. He's a, he's a little bossy. He's a little bossy terrier, and he's a, he's the he's the cutest thing that ever lived. All right. Zena, she's got a rainbow color. She's everything. This is something that we're slowly working on over here, uh, is the armory. Um, eventually, we're going to try and have one of every armor piece that we found made and displayed here. Uh, I haven't finished displaying some of the armor. Like The armor that I have on right now actually isn't my armor. We have cosmetic armor enabled. Uh, this is the actual armor that I'm wearing. Uh, this Elementium is really nice, but it's not really good for <laughs> protecting you. But... Um, so that's a project we have as well, is to try and get uh, all the armor from all the different uh, mods that we have, and eventually display it. I'm gonna go to the nether briefly, just to find some, uh, or at least until we start, like, going around, just so we can get some, uh, one last then, thing uh... of, uh, ancient debris, so I can make myself a, uh, a full set of netherite, uh, armor. There's, uh, uh, Kelly's so room. She can see, uh, she can see Dirk from her bed window. Greeting yes. her when she wakes Dirk, up. Dirk will give Kelly a lovely greeting every morning when she yes. arises from the bed. <laughs> yes. Ah, oh, yes, that poisonous bite. Well, I'm not uh, sure if it actually goes through the window, but... You know, here's a... <laughs> this is Todd. He oh, likes... Todd. He likes to hang out in the forge. Uh, and with and sleep with Winston, or w Wilson. I said Winston. <laughs> actually, Todd Todd sleeps here now because he kept stealing Kelly's bed. So yep. we actually <laughs> gave Todd his own bed in the forge because he just he works here now. Like this, this is now his basically his house. Yeah. He doesn't ever leave. <laughs> before <laughs> so before before that, he liked he would uh, he used to uh, sleep with Wilson and Mickey a lot. Yes, he did. Uh -huh. Um, this is a, uh, this is from Tinker's Construct that, uh, Brian was talking about earlier. This is a really, really cool mod if anyone wants to get a mod where you can make all different kinds of gear and customize them. Like, these are some of the, like, this cleaver that you saw, like, Ryan have. And, like, oh, yeah. You can, uh, smelt different parts and create and kind of customize your own weaponry, and hmm. it is, it's really neat. Um, okay. But another mod that we've got that's back here in the uh, Magic Garden is from is that Botanium mod I mentioned. 
Um, and it's all about magic, so we have a lot of mana pools. If uh, Gavin comes down here, you'll see we have a crazy redstone contraption to create mana. It's oh, yeah, awesome. this. Our, pool, our pools are filled, but it took Gavin and I a while to uh, to build this. <laughs> but, yeah. uh, it's pretty efficient uh, when it uh, is turned on. Yeah. It fills up these, uh, these pools, which on our adventures, you'll probably see me using uh, mana related items i'm mo uh, the other guys haven't really delved into this mod as much as i have but it, it's it's actually pretty fun too so if you like magic and you like like plants and like herb lore and things like that you would probably really like botania as well <laughs> yes let's see oh god what else, uh, I don't once know, again i don't know Back. if there's much else to show you guys um, we just recently today built a fishing hut because I installed a fishing mod called, uh, what is it? Um, Aqua. Sure. Oh, Great. What is it called? It, it'll be in the description. It's like aqu aqu aquaphonic. Uh, Asmodebob. Uh, George. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, shish kebab. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Shiskabob is uh, obviously not one of the uh, Seven Deadly Sin Bobs, but Gavin yeah. really wanted to name one of them Shishkabob, so we did. <laughs> and f and Fleezabob, I wanted that too. Yeah, we, we need to get one more Iron Golem for that one. Yeah, next one will be Fleezabob. <laughs> so. Gordon. Eddie. Say to Bob. The newest edition? The, yeah, the newest edition to the Bob family. Uh. Diesel Bob. Belfa Bob. You get the gist. Daryl. Ah, uh, yes. The last, uh. Cinnamon roll. And yes. Complete my collection. Oh, we call uh, uh, ancient debris uh, cinnamon rolls, by the way. Since, yes. Uh, so that's what they look like. That is what so they look like. Gavin. I'm just going to do this just to save time. There we go. I'm going to just hurry on over to the forge after my game stops lagging, and then I'm going to go and uh, smelt this thing so I can get myself Ooh. my own full set of netherite armor. So a lot of the <sighs> things that we're going to be exploring for you guys to kind of showcase the mods and also since they're new to us completely, um, Gavin and I did a lot of searching around the globe uh, to find different landmarks and we are, instead of going to walk there because it would take us a long time and it would be boring for you guys, we are all going to teleport to these locations and explore them together for the first time with all of you. Uh, including all of the other series that Gavin's going to post, uh, like going to, we have the better end in, in installed that makes it so that the end has biomes and it is gorgeous and I can't wait to actually explore it and see what all it has to entail. Uh, as they showed you before, we have the Abyss, which is like a hardcore. Uh, there, there's a lot to explore, both in the overworld and in other dimensions, but this first series is just going to be the if I remember correctly, Gavin, the above ground yeah. uh, dungeons. So if we have uh, Dungeons Arise is the name of the mod that installs a bunch of different dungeons up on the surface, um, which include like illager houses and camps, uh, crazy huge castles, They're like a gigantic mushroom mine thing that Gavin and I found. Yeah. Um, lo lots of different dungeons that we're going to be exploring. Yes. Um, is there anything else you want to uh, discuss before we turn the video off and then get ready to teleport? Uh. Oh yeah, the uh, the nightfall mine. Oh yeah, the mine. There's a. There's a, there's a there's a cat in the minecart. <laughs> we have so many cats. Uh, there was one time I opened the door to my room, and I and it was kind of yeah. Funny. Kelly came into the room just about the time that I was going out, 
and I had four cats on leads, <laughs> just <laughs> leading them out of my bedroom. <laughs> so, yeah. so uh, the cats, the cats, uh, they, they like this. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door and his left. All right. Oh my god, this armor set looks so awesome. Yeah, so this is the ravine that we found underground. Uh, this, I will say, we didn't load the... I have a, cave, a couple different cave-related mods that honestly make the caves even better than the 1.17 update that's coming out. Um, yes. But... Uh, this, unfortunately, was an area that we had loaded before the cave mod, so uh, all the chunks yeah. that we explored before we installed that mod are normal. <laughs> they look the, it looks the same, yeah. But it allows us to mine a lot easier, so... Um, we'll show them the depths. So down here is to the depths, of course, this is the... To oh, get okay. to high level 12, uh, so that we can mine ourselves some diamonds. Uh, we can go a little bit lower to mine down here as well, and we've got quite a substantial different mine shafts going already. I made this one up here. Yeah, this is like a little labyrinth uh, maze that Gavin made. It's kind of fun. Yeah, that would look cool. It's, uh... Yeah, this is as far as I got. But, uh... I might add to it in the future. Yeah. Exactly. Got some ore, decorative ores here. Uh, there's a uh, a lot of shit over here. There's an entire mine that you know we might use in later episodes. Gonna make some regen pots for all, for all of us. That is a good idea. Also, maybe some uh, fire res as well. So we can have them in our backpacks. We have a bottles there already for you, so hopefully. Oh yeah, I'm making some stuff. See, so, uh, all right. Yeah, we've done a lot of uh, uh a okay. lava stream over there. Gen, here we go. And fire res. Doesn't hurt to have a fire res potion in the back pocket. All right. Nether wheat, nether wart farm. Here oh yeah, this the is cool. Uh, There's a bucket. Let's see, garden stuff. We've got a Easter uh, bucket. Oh yeah, we've uh. Okay. This is uh something that I am that I feel guilty for. We've uh, off camera we've already uh huh. explored the uh, the dream world and we found uh yeah rainbow <laughs> berries so we have a. Uh, but we did manage to uh, create a uh, a spot in the garden to grow more. Yes, so, uh, we actually probably will show you guys the nightmare in Dream World at some point. To, oh to yeah, just, that was my yeah, that was be new to us, but we that's the only other realm that we've explored, namely just because it's kind of a smaller mod right now. Yeah, um, the plan the plan was to showcase. There's a lot of food here that probably looks unfamiliar to a lot of you, and that's because we do have a um, an XL food mod, is the name of it, is installed. Um, it has a bunch more fruits and vegetables and things, as well as a lot of different things that you can cook, such as like tacos and like soups and all kinds of cakes. So a lot of the food may look a little unfamiliar to you, that is why. And I would highly suggest the mod, it's a lot of fun. I uh, I really enjoy making cheesy bread and uh, tacos. <laughs> oh yeah, cheesy bread. Ah. Ah. Uh, yeah. Let's see. Uh, it's dangerous to go alone. Take these. No, oh, thank you. I know you're not that big of a potion person, but there you go. No, they're helpful. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, we're probably gonna want some night vision potions if you can make us any of those. Well, um, if you have your gamma maxed up, then you're fine. And some health uh, potions too. Uh, my oh, just a... not health video. potions? Yeah. Okay, I'll make some splashes. Splashes but... are always better than drinks. Yeah. I guess I'll make night vision. I mean, oh, yeah. all right, Gavin. Oh yeah, Laura and I, Laura and I Gavin? did build uh, the nightfall mine together. So. Uh... Yes. Gavin? Yeah, Gavin helped yeah. me build the mine on that one, but most everything. Thank you. Is me. <laughs> I love building. That's. I mean, I'm honestly really excited to play modded Minecraft and show you guys all these things because. I'm not normally a survival person. I find it 
Sorry about the Oh, chinking. yeah. Sometimes you'll... Sorry about uh, the chinking. Uh, Laura and Ryan uh, are in the same room, so uh, sometimes they'll their mics will clash and you'll hear chinking every once in a while. So if you hear if you hear that noise, that is why. We apologize. Yeah. So yeah, I'll make see. some uh, some splash Let's help see. twos for all of us. Uh, farm. I know. We've, we've uh, this is where we uh, uh, take care of our animals. Uh, now that we have an animal mod, we're gonna be trying to add. Uh, this is where Dirk this used to be actually. Yeah. yeah. We got him in the Badlands, so I tried to give him a Badlands home, and he he got stuck in the fences really bad. So we finally and he bit everyone, so we finally decided to just. <laughs> Look at all those chickens. All right. I just took one of some of their eggs. Oops. Let me drop them. We did manage to get a few foxes, and there are some rabbits in here, but I'm afraid to go in there and feed the rabbits because they, they escape really easily. <laughs> like these chickens, for instance. F one of them just fucking... Ah. That's alright. I'll kill him. We can eat him. Yeah. No trespassing outside of your... <laughs> Mm, fucks. And we do have some bees, as you can tell from the Ooh, you got rabbits. Oh, there's a panda? Yes, I did. We spawned in a jungle, and we did happen to get one panda back here, but it was extremely difficult. Damn. So that is why we only have one panda, but he is adorable, and we need to give him a name at some point. But Oh, yeah. Uh, right now, he has no name. Maybe in the comments, if you're watching, uh, leave, a, uh, leave an idea for a name uh, to name the panda, because... We don't have a name for him yet. <laughs> yeah, good idea. <laughs> Let's see. Let's see. What else? What else have we not? Oh yeah. Then there's the. Uh... Hang on. So yeah. There's some chemistry over here. Uh... Oh, there's the chemistry. There's the enchanting room as well, which is upstairs. And there's the uh, bakery right here. That's what this is. Let's see. What else? Oh yeah, then there's the uh text. Then there's the uh the uh blocks. There's a storage room in here. Yeah. So we're uh. Alrighty. In case uh we need any uh blocks to make like you know planks or like certain uh uh certain stuff, then uh we can grab from here. We've got uh There is floors. something up here. Yeah, this is all this is all from the dream world. It's a oh, snow yeah. golem. That's right. We made a snow golem up here. I forgot about them. Yeah, I made one up there. It's just kind of uh, our uh yeah, eventually our, uh, we're watch have dude. all of our storage from the other realms being here like we do on the second floor. We already have the nightmare and dream world storage stuff. So Let's show them the enchanting room and I think that's the last thing that that they uh, will need to, to see. Laura, did you get your, uh, your night vision? I, I did. We probably are going to Gavin? Oh, I don't have mine yet. Okay, here. Take it. I'll go get the splash health. Uh, yeah, come back over here. We'll show them the enchanting room, and that's the last room. Then I'm going to gonna go over to Kelly and then get her a uh, night vision pot. Uh, Kelly, you doing okay? Yeah. Here. <laughs> she hasn't said much. That's okay. <laughs> It's been a long day for Kelly. Yeah. So yeah. Um, there's only three night vision potions. I'll just not take one since so I can just fucking just light up the plots. But I will get three uh, splash help twos for all of us. So there we go. Nice. All right. And the last is... but not least, the boop, boop, boop. where is it? The for emergencies. Laura? Huh? For emergencies. There you go. Oh. Splash is always better not than over, drinking into so hell. Not, not over here. Alright. The fishing hut, I guess, is the only other thing that we didn't show. Yeah, them. that's what I'm trying to find. The fishing hut. I'm just going to do it, this. Uh, is it next to the... Kevin? Oh, hi. Here. Take your, uh... Take your splash health. There you go. Um, if you go to the other side from where you are, I think 
Yeah, over here. This is there the we go. But yeah, we made this hut because we did have the fishing inside the castle, but the iron golems and the villagers kept falling in the water and couldn't get out. <laughs> so we uh, made this hut. But yeah, the, the mod that we installed for this is um, called Aquaculture. I now remember what it's called. Um, and it's, it's really, really cool. You can make customized um, fishing rods and things like here. I'll show you guys this one. So this is a diamond fishing rod and you can change the color of your bobber and like the color of your reel. So like I have a purple bobber and a teal reel and then a uh, golden hook um, and it's enchanted, but you can get a lot of really cool new fish. Uh, like I got a bluegill just then. And there's actually some armor that you can get from this that we're trying to uh, fish up Neptunian boxes. But if Gavin will show you over here, something cool about this mod is all the fish that you catch, you can put them on mounts and you can uh, show off your fishing, which is pretty cool. There's a whole lot of new fish. It's really actually pretty, pretty fascinating. A lot of fun. I mean, a lot of the time people in Minecraft don't think like, oh, fishing's so fun, but actually it, it's... This makes fishing a lot of fun. Uh, I've really enjoyed the mod so far. And yes, Laura put all this here herself. Yeah, I made the lake because uh, I mean the fish ran. The fish will the ran. They'll spawn. Like fish will spawn in water that's a certain height and width. But um, the plants and the actual size of the lake and the how and stuff I I made myself because um, the one that was naturally inside the castle that we were using. Uh, <laughs> was a mess for our guys. So. This is all. This also kind of is our sugarcane farm since we don't have one inside the farm in the castle, but it works just fine. We can also make sugar from honey from bees, so it's not a lack of sugar. We got backpacks. Yeah, so ba there's a backpack mod that we have installed, which again we'll have listed for you the name of that mod, and this is them. They they Maybe. are so helpful. In the description, possibly. Yeah, we'll we'll have a list of mods in the description. That way, you guys can go check them out if you uh, want to see it. We have yes, of, hello, Derek. We have a total of forty mods installed on my server here, but a lot of them are uh, mods that have like the uh, the underlying coding and things to make other mods work. So it's a lot of mods, yeah. but. Um, not as much as you would think, just because a lot of them are ones that require the others to work, kind of feel. There's a, there's a skyline up in the distance over there. Yeah, sky slimes. Eventually, this wide open space that I took all the trees out of uh, is going to probably become either more city or another part of the castle, or who, who knows what we will make it into when we get, start traveling and finding things. You never know what will what will happen? <laughs> yeah, pretty much. But I don't know about you, Gavin, but I think with that, I think we've pretty much shown off most of what we already have accomplished. Um, yeah. We're really going to any... I mean, we went somewhat around the overworld, and then we did uh, go to the Nightmare and Dream World, but everything else you guys will get to uh, experience with us, but... Yeah. Um, I think that we'll probably uh, come back with you in just a little bit and we will show you our first above ground dungeon slash dungeons depending on how many we can maybe do um, and begin the actual adventuring part of this first series on nightfall yeah go from for all we know maybe uh, go from smallest to biggest uh, yeah, I think that would be preferable. We'll start with some smaller stuff. Yeah. And then, uh... Yeah, the biggest could be the uh, season finale. <laughs> yes. And that one was, is gonna be a doozy. <laughs> yeah. Stop. <laughs> no! Oh god, no! No, Dirk, no! No! Children, no! Dirk, stop! 
No! I can't attack him! He's resistant! He's literally eating his football on him! I can't do anything! Stop! I'm eating your game! Oh my god, why? Wait, he's actually stopped eating his kids. Oh my god. Wait, I think he got stuck. He got stuck, so he doesn't- oh, Nope, he's still eating his kids! Oh, Stop! Me. Stop attacking my friends and eating your kids! Stop it! Stop! Dirk! Oh, he's stuck! I, uh, I have to get food. Dirk! Oh god, no, I'm stuck! Help me! <laughs> oh god, he's eating his children! He's eating his children again! Stop! Stop it! Now stuck. this no, is parenting. I can't even get on Dirk and get me out of Dirk! He's fucking stuck! Dirk! Oh my god! <laughs> Actually, still alive, so maybe it's okay. <gasps> oh my god, I can climb chain link fences. Look, I didn't know. Oh that. my god, actually, two of his kids are still alive. Two, two of them are still alive. And he's stuck. Huh. I think Dirk's right. stuck on this block right here. Here, whoa, Dirk. Whoa. Nope, he's killing his kids again. No, Dirk, stop it! Stop, stop killing your children! No! No, that one was not supposed to live! Stop, Dirk! No! Stop eating your kids! Why? Leave that one alone! Please! <laughs> oh my fuck! He still <laughs> hit you from up there. He's still going! No, stop eating that kid! No! Oh! Dirk, why? Why do you eat your children? Yeah. <laughs> Why? Why hey, do you Gavin. Do Ooh, yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Hey, Dirk. Hello. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that actually hurt him. That actually hurt him. <laughs> he took damage from that. Wait, what? I didn't. He actually took damage I from you. Fuck. But I didn't do shit. <laughs> See, this is why. I, 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 yeah. You know what, Ryan? This is why Dirk eats his children. Okay? <laughs> People land on top of him. He's had enough. He's had enough of his life. He's had enough of these fucking kids. He's had enough of you. Of this <laughs> He's just motherfucking kid <laughs> on this motherfucking world. <laughs> oh my God, Dirk. <clears throat> well, there you go. Um, not <laughs> Dirk eats his fucking. <laughs> I can't believe he killed every single one of his children. Again. <laughs> Again? <laughs> Where are you supposed to breed these things when he killed their own kids? <laughs> Dirk is forever alone, okay? Yeah. Dirk will never have children. <laughs> he is a horrible parent. <laughs> <laughs> I think that is an understatement.